Grocery stores are some of the few businesses that have been open throughout the entire pandemic, but now dozens of workers nationwide have died from COVID-19 and many chains are paying employees hazard bonuses. So just how safe are grocery stores right now and the workers inside? Chief Reveal Investigator Brendan Keefe looks at store requirements and how they are being enforced. We recorded openly using our phones while shopping in multiple grocery stores over a two week period, but only while shopping for necessities we needed ourselves. At this Kroger in Johns Creek, the week before the company required masks, the worker collecting the carts wasn't wearing one. There was no one sanitizing the carts when we arrived. Is there nobody wiping them? We found the same thing at this Kroger in Alpharetta. In both Kroger stores, there were spray bottles, but empty paper towel rolls next to the carts. This cashier at the Johns Creek Kroger was wearing a mask before Kroger required them, but look closer at his hands. Those gloves are ripped as he touches every single item. In the produce section the same day, a worker with no mask touches her head to adjust her glasses with an apple in her hand before putting that apple out for sale. Say that money. We went back to the Johns Creek store the first day Kroger required masks and found an employee with her mask under her chin while talking with another maskless employee. We are out there working for poverty level wages right now every single day because we are forced to. This essential worker position that we're in, we're not going to get fired. And if you quit, you can't get that unemployment bonus. So we're trapped, essentially. Kroger says it is addressing the concerns we uncovered and tonight on up late at 11, Brendan takes cameras into Publix, Walmart and Target to check their pandemic policies.